day in living green, turning food into compost. Every lawn needs nutrients to grow every year, and now a local man has a new use for leftovers so they don't go to waste. Here's Pete Mangione with the details. Many restaurants already recycle their cardboard, paper, and plastic. But if one local company has its way, your leftover food may end up feeding your lawn instead of being thrown in here. You're looking at leftovers from many dinners past. That's all, that's right, that's table scraps from somewhere. Turning table scraps and other food waste into fertilizer is a process developer David Darlington wants to bring to southern New England. The new converted organics Rhode Island facility would go here in this empty lot near the landfill in Johnston. Food waste now is about 20, 25 percent of the waste stream that goes into the landfill. His partner company in New Jersey is already up and running with this latest food recycling technology. Solid and liquid food waste is loaded into large tanks and then converted into fertilizer, which is already available at places like the Home Depot. Like his partner company, Darlington will collect the leftovers from food processing plants and other places that need to get rid of food waste. We'll also get it from, you know, supermarkets and so on. We'll get it from restaurants. We'll get it from convention centers, universities. Since food needs to be separate from the rest of the waste for the process to work, Darlington will give haulers a discount to keep the regular trash away from the food. If we're only charging, say, $25 for that tipping fee, then they're incentivized to separate out the food waste. To help fund the $17.5 million facility, Darlington is still awaiting approval from the Rhode Island Economic Development Corporation. If all goes as planned, he'll be up and running this fall. For The Roadshow, I'm Pete Mangione.